Scott, you've got dings and dents like everybody else in the state of Texas. Yes. This is uh, evidence that you parked your car next to somebody who was really rude or in a parking lot where there were some rude people. Um, Scott, have you looked into what it would cost to get any of these dings or dents fixed? I have, and each ding is probably about seventy to eighty dollars to right. fix things or get fixed. Right, and you decided, like about ninety nine point nine percent of the people, not to get them fixed. Right. Don't blame me at all. But you know, Scott, you you may have coverage that'll fix all these dings and dents for you, and there's about ten or eleven of them, um, at no cost to you making your vehicle worth significantly more. Did you happen to purchase a paintless dent repair policy? I did not. Okay, something you may want to consider with your next purchase. Okay, what have I just done right there? Forget, so, forget <clears throat> finance for a second, but what, what have I done for, for his expectations? Did I say a bad word about his vehicle? No. No. All right. Um, when was I here last? A month and a half ago? Two months? No, no, no. no. It was longer than that. It was in June? I don't think so. I can't remember. Anyway, um, I had a fairly new car at the time. I had four black alloy wheels. How many black alloy wheels do I have left? Zero. Zero. I've scraped every single one of those wheels on a curb, either in a fast food drive through a parking lot or there's a place in my, at my uh, where I play golf where I park the car and there's a stupid curb there bank drive through so they're all they've all got scratches okay all of them it's a good thing you bought well tire protector well no okay now walk me through what you'd say I mean that's got kind of I tell you that all the time actually uh, you know hey you know and if you drive like I do you go through all these bank drive throughs and, and fast food late night drive throughs and stuff like that Inevitably, you're, you have those 22-inch wheels. You're, you're bound to hit something, with, you know, in one of those drive-throughs. Okay. And what's what should be the next question you ask? Did you buy it on your? No, no. Did you look into what it would cost to get these fixed? What we want to do is we want to attach a dollar value to the, you know, because look, the scratch-up wheels, dings and dents, missing keys, uh, cracked windshields. Do all those things affect the value of a yes. trade-in? Yes. Sir. We need to educate the customer. Okay. They don't think so. They, they went to KBB and put in their six bits of information and said it's not worth 19 grand. Okay, they, they don't know these things. So, Steve, did you look into what it would fix your, cost to fix your wheels? Steve, did you look at how much it would cost to fix those wheels? I did not. I'm, I'm, I don't know the exact value, but I'm sure it's a pretty, pretty penny. Like? Roughly around, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. How about 100 to 125 dollars? Oh. Usually a wheel doctor can fix those things. I got you. About, about 100, 150 bucks. Times four, Steve. Times four. Yes, so, you're at so, so now I'm looking at 500. Um, but now give me hope. But um, but you did buy the wheel and tire protection, correct? Uh, I don't think I did. Oh, man. So with that being said, you should probably look at buying that. Would have fixed these for you, no cost to you, making your car worth more. Gotcha. Something you really should consider with your next vehicle, Steve. So, yeah, look, I'm all in on setting up finance. All right, but more importantly, I'm all in on helping the customer understand that there is a reason that the market deducts from the value of their vehicle for these things that we are discovering. Right? Right. How many keys do you have to your car, Philip? Uh, I only have one. Philip, where is that other key? I lost it a couple years ago. No chance of finding it? No, sir. Did you look into what it would cost to um, replace it? I actually have. Okay, um, well, for, uh, from a shock standpoint, it's probably better that you didn't. Those keys are two, three, four, five hundred bucks. They're not even key fobs anymore. They're, they're computers, okay? They literally have chips in them. By the way, you know how many chips a Porsche key fob has in it? Six? 160. Oh, God. <laughs> God. By the way, you, you buy a $150,000 Porsche now, you get one key fob with the promise of another one someday. Wow. Really? Yes. Yes. Some of the Porsches have got 16,000 chips in them. The average passenger car has how many? 2,000. 3,000. 3,000. All right. So, um, look, uh, those keys are expensive as the devil to replace, Philip. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did you happen to purchase a key replacement policy? Yes, sir. I did not. Okay. Well, had you done that, it would have replaced that key at no cost to you. made your car worth a lot more, something you may want to consider with your next vehicle. Okay, so now you see, look, 
the silent trade walk, the motions are all exactly the same. I mean, we're looking for dings and dance. We're looking for, the, we're, but we're just not touching them and playing, you know, oh, anyone die here? You know, <laughs> that kind of thing. Where we're, we're, we want them, I want a, uh, the customer to attach a value to these dings and dents. Because nobody ever gets them fixed, okay, unless you're some OCD type of character. 